But what I saw in a plant in Chicago last week has set me thinking. Maybe we can work out something like it. Something like what? Like a centralized cleaning system. Now, in this plant, after each shift, the respirators are collected for cleaning. To make certain each man gets back his own respirator, they're identified by number. They're taken apart and cleaned in warm water with plenty of soap suds. Once a week, they're sterilized. After rinsing, they're quickly dried in a clean, warm place and then reassembled with new, clean filters. At this time, they're inspected for worn out parts or necessary repairs. Then they're placed in dustproof boxes and put away until the next day when each man receives his own clean and inspected respirator. This girl also issues new respirators. She knows how to fit the different types like forming the face piece of this aluminum dust full so it fits perfectly, and placing the rubber comfo face piece low enough on the nose so as to leave room for goggles. The top strap on this comfo paint respirator must fit snugly. The lower strap, however, should be tightened to pull the face piece firmly against the chin. The fit is checked to make sure it's snug but comfortable. When the inhalation valves work like that, you know everything's all set. Say, that's all right.